Good. Don't think she saw me. Who saw you? Ah! Aphrodite, what are you doing in here? You don't think who saw you? Uh, okay, uh, Hera, actually. Things have been dicey since Zeus asked me out for the hundredth time as she was rounding the corner. Oh, dear. What did she say? Oh, I don't know. I didn't even answer. I just straight up ran away. Huh. Yeah. So, what are you doing in here? I've just been waiting for you. Oh. Okay. I mean, we do live together, you know. I know, but I figured this is a better place to corner you in. To what now? Pandora, we are going to talk. Uh, about what? About why you're avoiding me. I'm not avoiding you. I've barely seen you for the last few days, and we share a single bedroom. You're angry about something, and you just won't talk about it. Aphrodite, I haven't been avoiding you. C can we please talk later? I, I have things to do. What things? You know, like radio stuff. Like what? Dials? See? Excuses. This is what you do whenever I try to figure out why you're upset, you push me away. Tell me what is going on. <laughs> Look, where I'm from, we don't talk. We let our woes fester until they melt into a sardonic worldview that we utilize to continue not talking about things. It's the only true Wordsworth inheritance we have. Well, right now we're here, not wherever it is you come from. I'm from the Midwest, I've told you this. Pandora, talk to me. I, I don't know what to tell you. There's nothing I want to talk about. Ugh, you know, this is by far the worst thing about you. You just lie. You lie about your feelings and, and who knows what else. You are a liar. Really? You want to yell at me for not being up front? That is pretty bold considering you went behind my back to try and set up Hades as a troublemaker for no reason. Oh, oh, and then, then you had Athena lie for you so you could pretend you weren't involved. So yeah, you really want to pretend like you're the open book here? Ugh, I knew Athena wouldn't be able to hold it together. <laughs> yeah, no does. She's the least discreet person on the planet. B but you know what? Great. You've caught me. I'm pissed at you. For what? For... for being a jerk. For being so crappy about Hades. I get that I can't make you stop hating him because of the laws of the land or whatever you want to call it, but I really didn't think you would stoop to trying to poison other people against him. Or me, for that matter. That's not fair. Oh, oh, we're talking about what's fair now. Because last I checked, being treated differently because of powers you didn't ask for isn't all that fair either. Of course that's what you think this is about. You are so obsessed with powers. Heavens forbid the amazing Hades never did anything wrong. He's not perfect, you know. I get that he's your new best friend, but he's made mistakes just as much as anyone else here. What? Yeah, and also, I think that dog of his is rude. I don't care what you think about that. My new best friend? Well, isn't he? Is this... Are you jealous? Um, Hades has nothing that I need to be jealous of. Is that what this entire three-ring circus has been about? You being jealous that I'm spending time with someone else? No! Or, at least, not at first. I thought him being the patron of death was genuinely a bad thing, because, I mean, hello, death? But then when I warned you, you didn't freak out, and instead you snapped at me for the first time ever. 
That was definitely not the first time. You're just really bad at most social cues. And that was when you started getting distant. All to hang out with Hades more. So I... I went to Athena to... You know... Help you. Because you were jealous. And jealousy is an ugly emotion, and I don't do anything ugly, Pandora. Right. You seem like you're still mad. I mean, a little bit. I've been all freaked out, and it was just because you were being petty. If you would have come to me with your concerns right away, maybe we could have figured it out together. I just... I didn't know what to do, because I, I don't have many friends. <laughs> no, I'm being serious, Pandora. Since we started living together, how many people have you noticed that stick around? Really? You see lots of people more than once. Yeah, romantically. I love people, and I love the relationships I have, but the life I've led and the powers I wield have never left a lot of room for just... friends. That's the kind of love I'm not sure how to work with. A lot of people are at least a little in love with me, Pandora. Right. So no. I never liked Hades, but I... I guess that's not entirely what this was all about. I didn't want him to take my best friend. My only real friend. Aphrodite, you were never in danger of that. I pushed back because I didn't like how you were acting, and... Okay, yeah, that's on me for not confronting it. But you were the first person here who was even a little kind to me. I was never going to stop being your friend. Huh. What? Well, you've never actually said we were friends before. I... Sure, I have. Nope. I always said it, and then you wouldn't say anything back. Well, that's... Well, maybe I'm getting used to the friends thing, too. I'm sorry I lied. It's okay. I'm sorry I wordsworthed you. We're going to hug now. <laughs> oh, no. No, no. That's okay. I'm not. No. Uh. Doesn't that <sighs> feel better? I mean, I'm pretty sure you crushed three ribs, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> Aphrodite, I want to fix this, but I'm not going to stop being friends with Hades either. You know that, right? I figured. I could learn to deal with it. I think. As long as I know we are, you know, friends. Yeah, Dity. We are. Okay. <sighs> All right. Well, do you need to do your radio stuff now? With the, um... Styles? Har har. <laughs> Actually, I haven't eaten yet, and I am way hungrier than I thought I was. Maybe because all of my bones have been pulverized. <laughs> you want to get lunch? I heard the cafeteria has pizza that's barely even soggy today. Yeah, I'd like that. Are you going to make me check to see if Hera is still around? Yes, please. <laughs> Coast is clear. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you were really scared, weren't you? I mean, yeah, usually. I just don't really know when she's going to turn up. Ooh, did you hear about Carlos and the quad? <laughs> no. <laughs> and it's all I can do to avoid your game. Mount Olympus University is an original story conceived and written by Rihanna Nicole Larson. Sound editing done by the intrepid Luke Van Humesen. Our icon was designed by the incomparable Jess Reed. Music by the industrious Teddy McCrell, whose works can be heard on SoundCloud under Teddy Mackerel. The role of Pandora is played by Rihanna Nicole Larson. Aphrodite is played by Sydney Rose Hover. You can send us an email at mtolympusuniversity at gmail.com or find us on Twitter at MTOlympusU. You can also check out our website for extras, including transcripts of every episode at mountolympusuniversity.com. Please consider subscribing, rating, and leaving a comment to help more students find us.